And now, Sportsline. An action-packed day of state tournament basketball has concluded, and for 11 local teams, the dream of a state championship is more than alive. Let's show you how a few of those teams got to the semis. Hillcrest Knights looking to defend their state title, and it was all Colby Kessler in the second half. There's a three to start his second half burst of scoring. More from Colby. This time, he drives to the rack for the tough finish in the paint. He scored 21 of his 23 points in the second half, and Hillcrest cruises to the semis with a 78-38 to 38 victory. Pocatello battling Bishop Kelly, trying to get back to the 4A state championship. We pick it up late in the third. Thunder up 15. Julian Bowie's layup won't go, but Logan Rogers takes care of business on the rebound. Soon thereafter, Bowie's got this. That's a trifecta for the junior superstar. Pokey with a whopper of a win against BK, 63 to 41. Minico led Blackfoot by one at the break, but Javante King charges out of the gates for the Broncos with two buckets, including this coast-to-coast -coast finish. Broncos with the lead. A few possessions later, Ryan Reynolds spots up from the corner, and that shot is money to extend the Blackfoot lead. But the Spartans strike back with Brevin Trenkel, who sinks a three ball of his own off the roll right there. Then the Broncos go for a ride. King feeds Jackson Grimmett on the fast break for an eight-point Blackfoot lead. After a Minico response, King goes up and gets the roll again. The Idaho Statewide All-Star led all scorers with 23 points. And Blackfoot takes down Minico, 54-46. The Madison students are ready to rock at the Ford Idaho Center. It was a tight one from the start. Russell Gibson gives Eagle the edge with the end one bucket. But Nash Humphreys and his trifecta of threes in the first half had the Bobcats in front by four at halftime. Fast forward to the fourth. It's a tie game until Sawyer Hansen scores on the inbound to give Eagle the lead. Bobcats had an immediate response. Barrett Wilson, 4-3. He got it. Madison back in front. To the final minute, Bobcats by one. Look at the home run pass from Chase Crane, and Wilson seals the victory. Madison advances to the 5A semis with a 48-45 win. Highland back at States for the first time since 2016, looking for an upset over Lake City. But a shocker would not come to fruition, at least according to Blake Buchanan. There's a slam from the UVA commit. More from the T-Wolves, Zach Johnson goes to the cup and gets the roll. Lake City dominated from start to finish as Highland falls 62 to 25. Sugar Salem beginning the 3A tournament against Kimberly. Late first half, the Diggers are up double digits. After the first shot doesn't go, Zach Dogherty is right there to clean up inside to add to the lead. Final seconds of the half now, Christian Gordon going to work. Nothing but net on the three ball. Sugar Salem goes on to win big, 57 to 42. The West Side Pirates and the Bear Lake Bears went all the way to Boise to face each other again. Taysen Neal scored the Bears' first five points, which includes this finish off the window and through for two. Pirates, though, return the favor with good work in the paint from Dylan Ralphs to strike right back. But this was ultimately Bear Lake's day as Ridge Wallentine puts it through. Bears win 54 to 41 to advance to the 2A semifinals. We'll have full coverage of state semifinal action tomorrow right here on Local News 8. But for now, reporting from Rocky Mountain High School in Meridian, I'm Sports Director Eric Moon.